everybody, I'm Randall Ray, and welcome back to my channel for another update in the Reclaim Container Workshop. It's been about a week and a half since my last video, and since then a few things have changed. Basically, uh, following my last video where I fixed the floor from the hurricane damage and finished the walls and painted the floor, uh, since then I've organized all of my tools, brought everything into the container. Container is nowhere near finished, but I needed to get back to work. I have a few clients asking for Christmas orders, so I've been putting those off long enough. I needed to uh, go ahead and get those finished. So what's actually beside me now. Um, basically, I just had a few wall hanging silhouette orders. Nothing too, nothing too fancy. Nothing too uh, really in depth, you know, or, or difficult. Basically, I just laminated a few one by fours together to create a blank, and then use a template to cut out whatever design the actual order is. In this case, I've got five turkey silhouettes and two Georgia State cutouts. Um, yeah, it's a pretty simple process. Um, I've got an in-depth video coming out probably in the next two to three weeks on those. Um, basically, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna build one for myself that I've been wanting. Uh, it's gonna be a little bit larger than what I normally do, and it's gonna have a have a few things that I haven't quite added to my normal products that it's gonna be a little bit of test for me um, and like I said it's gonna be something I've been wanting so we'll see how it goes all of these have a little bit of engraving for the most part except for one um, I just use again I just print out a template adhere that onto the wood and then I use the Dremel tool and a carving bit to carve out whatever it may be that's pretty simple <laughs> So work-wise, we've been doing really well. Like I said in my last video, we're back to doing our normal, you know, work and back to working with our normal clients. So we're doing less hurricane cleanup and more just standard construction grading and stuff like that. Um, we did have a land clearing job, so we cleared about three acres over the course of two days. Actually, why this video is coming out a little later than I hoped. I hope to finish it over the weekend and then edit it and get it out either yesterday which was Sunday or today on Monday but that didn't happen so here we are um, yeah basically we, we, we went in with both a large excavator and our skid steer dropped the trees depending on their location to where we were piling up we dropped the trees hacked some of them up moved them and stacked them it's a pretty simple process but you know somebody's got to do it so um, this coming week, I've got a gentleman coming with the uh, portable mill and Alaskan mill. We're going to get all those logs I kind of stockpiled from Irma milled up and get those uh, drying. Unfortunately, there's really nobody around here with a uh, lumber yard or a, a kiln of any sorts that I can find. So I'm going to air dry them. It's going to take quite a while, so it's going to be a long time for you guys to see any kind of you know projects using that material but I think it's definitely gonna be worthwhile um, thinking of maybe giving a few pieces away to some local makers and um, doing something like that but other than that I'm, I'm planning lots of uh, live edge tables lots of live edge shelving whatever you can think of I'm hoping to build it so we'll see how that goes um, that's pretty much it for me though guys Got a few things in the works. Um, I'll see you guys next week. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like, share. If you don't already, subscribe. You can also follow me on Instagram, at Randall Ray. It's actually where I probably post most and share a little bit more behind the scenes. But uh, other than that, guys, I'll catch you next time. Have a good one.